Hello and welcome back to Snowrunner on our hard mode series. You join me in Island Lake and we are delivering cargo from the ship. I believe that's even what the job is called. Cargo from the ship it is. I guess this is cargo from, from the ship part two. Last time out we were <laughs> struggling to turn our trailer around. But we've got supposedly a nice easy run down to the warehouse and back again before we have to worry about that. Our fleet star is still jammed over in the mud. It's not in the mud, but it's, it's going to be in the way for turning anything round. So once we've dropped this off, when we come, <laughs> when we come back, we need to move the fleet star out of the area so we can try and turn the White West and the trade around in the area, and then probably bring the fleet star back in to forcibly <laughs> move the trailer around. It's, uh, it's going to be a good one. Like I say, it's just that bit, that bit what makes it hard. And that's why I was so up right. I mean, it's not just that bit. Um, there are two points where I have a history of rolling and losing my cargo. Luckily, we haven't done that. So, yeah, maybe, maybe next time we don't get stuck. And instead we uh, roll and lose the cargo. I'd rather get stuck, I think, than roll and lose the cargo. Uh, I might cry. The, <laughs> the series will, uh, will disappear before we even leave Michigan. Oh, no. It's, it's making me sweat already thinking about it. Already making me sweat. Smithsville Band, Michigan, US of A. Let's roll. I do apologise, I feel a bit gassy today. <laughs> Just next to really cold and a sprite, but it's oh, sitting a bit sharp. But we've not got no glare this evening, I'm a little bit a little bit later than last time. Avoiding the sun, it has already passed my window. In case there's sort of thing you're interested in. And as always, you know, welcome in, thanks for joining. The support is appreciated. Um, I, I don't know if uh, you found the last episode um, frustrating or funny yet. It's not gone live. We're recording it before it's gone live, so we shall, uh, we shall see what the response to that was. Yeah, I want to try and get a couple done tonight. Try and get ahead. Oh, got a bit of a quiet evening for a change. For now, I'm sure. Yeah, there's every chance of interruption, but for now we're going to try and go with it. Now we pulled that massive uh, construction trailer through with the P16, so getting over this bridge with one of these shouldn't be a bother. Not a bother. you up there. Ooh. Naughty. This, uh... Stick it in low. But a bit like in Island Lake where you have the, uh, the wooden bridge going through the swamp. You want to try and hit the far side of the bridge so that the trailer tracks around with you. That's the thing.
Nice. We will be hossing down, ooh, hossing down any of the shortcut routes for these trailers. Don't get excited for that. Like I say, we'll have enough enough drama back <laughs> in Drummond. We don't need to be uh, raising the blood pressure and things like that. Oh man, these stones. Brutal. We're going to get a flat again if I'm not careful. I don't think we've got any any bloody repair parts anywhere. Oh, we have. We've got the trailer on the back of the uh, Kildiak, although it's, it's empty, but we can we can drive it to the warehouse and restock it. Speaking of which, that truck's probably in the way as well. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so untidy and disorganised. I'm normally so tidy with this, not leaving stuff laying around. I think it's the uh, the need for the extra logistics and having things in places and doing it about. I think it's you know it's, it's all got me a little bit flustered this playthrough. I've just got crap everywhere. Plus, normally I collect up all my trailers. So as I'm going, as I'm finished with a trailer, I go and sell it. Obviously, there's no selling of trailers. And it's just a war. <laughs> You're just wasting fuel moving stuff out of the way. And I waste enough fuel trying to move my own trucks where I want them and what have you. Oh, no, we didn't want to do that. We wanted to put the, uh, the diff on. Thank you. So we've got this trailer. This is pretty much full, isn't it? Hmm, nearly. Alright. We've got that trailer. We've got the large semi-trailer. It's almost full. The one in Island Lake is almost full. So we've got those two. Fuel in... Land Rover and 200 litres on the back. And we've got fuel in Kodiak. So, what have we got like? I don't know. Not a lot. 10,000 litres. If that, maybe. Not a lot of fuel. And before, well, once we're finished, but I don't know why I'm thinking about once we're finished. We've got so much to do. But once we're finished as well, obviously we need to try and repair our trucks as best we can. Refuel everything. And have all our fuel near the garage. So that if I do need to bring stuff through, I can. I think in Alaska I'll be alright. I think it's quite a bit in Alaska. It's just on how efficient I can be. Like when we did the... When we did the... The normal mode stream of Alaska. Like we had, a, had one of those streams where in like three and a half hours we ticked off 12 jobs in three and a half hours. But off stream... I'd sort of move things around, I'd preload trucks and, you know, try to make, well, for, for two or three of those jobs I had done that, so I had three trucks that were ready to do three separate deliveries. And then I, I knew where they were going for what they were going to pick up for the next delivery. And, you know, that was, I was quite efficient with that. And, and uh, sometimes we were filling up from trailers left by the roadside because I'd started to do that. I'd start to move trailers and leave them at the side beside the gas station and at entrances to or yeah, entrances and exits to regions or to, to areas and yeah, to try to be a little bit more 
hard mode efficient in my head with it. But it, like I say, it's a lot of off-screen prepping it. We don't obviously don't do that in hard mode. We prep it as as we go, as we make it up. So yeah, how that's going to work out, I don't know. Like that episode felt awesome. We felt so efficient, it was insane. And then we have have days like we have here, where nothing goes right, ever. It's got a fair old bit in there, hasn't it? Can we change truck? No. It's a little bit. I can like see it's right there. Be a cheeky bugger. I think this one goes up to the warehouse. Not to the warehouse, but I'll try a house near the warehouse. Uh, new nest. I'm sure that's what it is. Two bricks. And that's in cab. I think I do that. What's that? For... Oh, and then a half minutes. Here we can do that in nine and a half minutes, I think. Easy. We might as well, since we've got to go that way, you know, it sort of makes sense, doesn't it? And we don't want them on the trailer. On the loading platform. Uh, we're probably parked way, way too far off, but never mind. Why is that not letting me operate my crane? What's going on? That's weird. Not letting me operate my crane. That's why crane is broken. Yeah, it's not letting me... Uh... Alright, well... We'll try when we come back later. We'll see if it'll work then. That's a bit annoying. It's just that we've got to go that way. I said we could have done it last time, I think, with the, with the fleet star bar. I have my panties in too much of a twist to uh, even think about that. I well, don't know why it wouldn't let me uh, bring me bring me crane out. had similar issues with, I think, winches, haven't we, where the winch wouldn't do what I wanted it to do and stuff. Where it, it gave us, like, no winch points, I think. I think it's a modded crane. But I don't... If, if it wasn't up, up to date and wasn't working... It, you know, it quite simply wouldn't work, but it's, uh, it should be fine. I'm not sure if we'll be able to pull this big tra trailer up the shortcut. We'll go around. 
like I say, we don't want to risk too much. We know we've got <laughs> got a mess coming up anyway, so. my head I'm still trying to think of like how I'm going to negotiate that space. Because sometimes the game is saving where I've churned up the mud and sometimes it isn't and even though we've left the map and come back again twice and been out with the game and come back again I bet it is saved how much I've churned that up. I bet a penny on it. Just enjoy the woodland scenery, that's what we're doing. If you do enjoy a little bit of woodland scenery, there's a treat for you this weekend. I managed to get a little bit of hunting done again. Had some requests on some of the older hunting videos, you know, when, when's it coming back? Am I still going to do it? People enjoyed it, so when I can, I'm trying to uh, continue with a little bit of hunting, because I, I, I love hunting all of the wild. I also like Way of the Hunter. I've not recorded any of that, but again, time. I have to finger in way too many pies and I try and cram it all in and too much stuff gets forgotten and dropped. I need to try and get more farming on the channel again, you know. A lot of the guys that support the channel are here because of the farming. And they sort of tolerate me doing other things. So need to get the farming on. Because when we do the farming, especially the live stream, it is, it is nice. Everyone comes in, we have a chat, we have a, you know, get, get a good crowd to come in and, you know, in a selfish tone, it does help to grow the channel that way as well, because it's, it's, it's a large community. And at the minute, I think quite a few creators are sort of feeling a little bit like I feel, like 22 has run its course. View, view rates on Farm Sim 22 have dropped all across the board for most farms and creators, even the largest channels. And we've seen quite lately a lot of farm sim channels are uh, venturing out either adding a little bit more content to their farm sim channels from other other games or starting up second second and third channels to stream and play other games so trying to tap into different things. I tried a second channel. I just don't think I'm I'm big enough of a channel. I know you don't actually have to be big enough. You're doing a second channel to get a second audience, but I don't think I'm big enough to try and bring enough people that are interested in just watching me to a second channel. I have a lot of, you know, most of my, my views are from people that are interested in that one particular game, whether it be SnowRunner, farming, uh, trucking, very few people come to my channel for the variety gameplay stuff. 
and that's fine. I understand that, and I, I, I accept that now. I was a little bit, I was always a little bit bothered by that a little bit at the start. Like, oh, if you watch me play this, why isn't it that you want to watch me play X, Y, and Z? But you know, people just aren't interested in it, and it's just <laughs> understanding that there's only a handful of people that are here watching what I do for me, and that's that's cool. That's fine. You guys are awesome. I like my driving. Oh, we've got a flat. Now I've gone and screwed myself. Now I've gone and screwed myself. Oh, I have some of the fuel. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, my God. Oh, dear. Taken all those parts. I want them to come the other way. I can't. Right here. Oh dear. I have just made this harder. I'm annoyed with myself. Hey. Okay. Oh, you can see that flat tide is not turning anyway. I'm going to skip that because we just get on with it now. Oh, there. Oh, my lord. Oh, there. That just popped. Don't really, don't even hit the arm feel that hard. Silence for frustration again, in case you're wondering. <laughs> that red wheel. <laughs> uh. Now I'm going to need every little drop, so we will have some more fuel. Thank you very much. If you're a bit crazy, this is just where my crane is. You can try and yeet your truck through there. Oh, talk about crane. Oh, it works here, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, there. Right. Sometimes this game just hates me. <laughs> I love it, it hates me. Similar, similar to um, Farm Sim, really. Complete love-hate relationship. That game always uh, <laughs> screwed me over. Normally whenever doing anything with <laughs> root crops. Or trees. Farm Sim is where my fear of lumber deliveries here come from. Not because lumber delivery to difficulty farms in but the loading of the logging and stuff like that the cut of the trees we don't have to quite do the cut of the trees but in hardwood we have to do the loading of the logs the transporting the logs
starting to lose the sun. It's going to be a late night manoeuvre again. There it is. I just don't know what I'm going to do. Should I get the fleet star out of the way first, I think? Before I try anything? Probably. Probably should. And I mean, like, right out of the way. Turn the track up a little bit more, you know, and get extra crap to come through later. We can't be too flippant with the fleet star because we don't want that rolling here either. take out any branches that I might need for the White Western. Now, I, I have even once tried to reverse down there so that the trailer went in back, but didn't go well. Up there just in case, just in case for when we need it. There's no just in case, it's for when we need it. Lack of drive on that, or lack of traction and drive on that left tyre. How much of a hindrance is that going to be? Massive, probably. Massive hindrance. Trying to think how I'm gonna do it. What I'm gonna do. That hole. We can go as wide as possible. That tire is not gonna drive for me, is it? So that's gonna be a no no. Trailers don't break, so it doesn't matter, does it? I mean, my, my low hitch is not going to be happy about that. <laughs> there you go.
There you go, 150, drop it in. Much easier. Now, if we'd have done that the first time, we'd have got both of these deliveries done in that one episode. Careful in getting it out. Sell. Let it sell. This is a bit where you can roll it if you're not careful. flat tire. That would be good, wouldn't it? Mm. Have we actually? No. I think so. Stuck on. Don't you dare. That's because we've got the diff lock on, that'll be it. Seriously. Right. Perhaps it's a good job we had the uh, star park there, look.
See if that will make any difference for us. I don't think it will, but... I don't know what it is that we've got so stuck on. We've got up and down this route every time, haven't we? That's it, keep going. At risk of loose. <laughs> the fleet star off the edge now, though. Excuse me, sorry about that. Oh, we're moving. Have not the foggiest. But what we got stuck on? Maybe toolbox got stuck or feet got stuck on something? Never easy, never easy round here. stuff this We 
we should be able to fix the tyre. Like I said, I think there's a spare one in the trailer on the Kodiak. If not, we'll just have to drive in and buy another one. going to have to pause for a second just because there was a massive bang just come from my son's bedroom. Bear with me. Sorry about that. Crisis averted. It was just uh, an old birthday balloon popping downstairs. It was alright. I'm oh, always selfish, I have to stop my recordings. Oh dear. Now it's just something else to have to edit out, isn't it? And it ru ruins the flow sometimes. I do like a straight, a straight cut with my content. It's just how I am. I like, I like it to be. You know, tr we trim up the start and we trim up the end cut out load screens, that sort of thing, but other than that, I like it to be pretty raw. Because as soon as there's you know, cuts and edits and stuff, you know, you can be brought in the question of whether you're doing things legitimately. And I've always felt that way. And that used to be the same with that with um, like the farming and stuff. Like I like, like to always, you know, do things legitimately and no, no cheating, as it were. And the best way to do, if you're not live, the best way to prove that and to do that is by quite a, a raw edit. So there's no opportunity to have had the, uh, the sneaky cheats in and stuff. So yeah, I still, I still have that sort of mentality about things. I don't know why people would disbelieve it. I mean, I've. <laughs> People have watched how many watched me play and how I've played for a long time. So they've seen me live, they've seen me recorded. Shall we uh, pack our trailer again now? Because if not, we'll only be cursing it when we, uh, when we drop it off and it doesn't deliver. We need to see the nighttime travel. Then again, we'll grab a little bit of fuel out of the scout trailer just because. It if we empty that point, travel and pass, it's one less one, one less we have to move about later on. But 
beautiful. Get your ass up there, lad. What do we think the time is? Three, four o'clock? Sent for I'd love a little in cab clock. But it, it it would be spinning pretty quick because an hour is only about three minutes. Like the, the minute hand would be going faster than the second hand, so yeah, a little I always say I can never see one, I don't think there is one anywhere. Lots of dials, no clock. Maybe a digital one would be alright. I mean, those minutes would still be taken pretty quick though, wouldn't they? Shut our gears out and our drive. So we're getting nice and wide, right to the edge. That tracks the train around. I don't think we've had much of an opportunity for a, for a screenshot moment, so that we might just have that. That for a thumbnail. Again, because I don't like to break up the gameplay, the videos, I, I try and get one from the actual uh, video in editing. But I always have to. I always try and get one that's not got any of the little symbols and stuff on. Which isn't easy because they seem to pop up those little little arrows and things. Yeah, and we can turn them off, but I forget where I'm going. Keep on chugging, girl. But she, you, you can tell she's a little bit, <laughs> bit damaged and a bit injured. Definitely feels like we're limping along a bit. I mean, it feels like we're about to run out of fuel, but obviously we're not. But you know when the truck starts to just pick up like fifty percent power because you're on like five liters of fuel left, and she's like, no. That's how we feel sometimes. Because she's so bad, the be used to that, so.
to the high range. If you don't go quick enough in high range, you just stall. Yeah, we just got kind of out. Uh, I'm not sure if we're lacking power or lacking traction, but it's just not doing that shit. fuel trailer might get moved soon. Oh, we've got another fuel trailer up by the farm, haven't we? Can't forget about that one. I can't even remember if this is a, a well-paying job. Hope so. It's taken up two days. A lot of stress. Banged up my truck a bit for it as well. Definitely want it. at least 10 grand. Better not be one of them three grand jobbies. into new game plus you can set it so like everything pays out less as well like how would you survive no money be too close to real life wouldn't it <laughs> i'm going to brought my fleet staff through to park up here to be more efficient that worked out well banged up <laughs> thank you again She sounds like she's struggling so much. Fourteen. That's all right. Fourteen grand. Up to ninety-five. Still so sure. Honestly, the, the the truck I want to buy when we go through is going to cost me eighty grand. When we get to Alaska. Oh dear. I'm gonna have to change that whole idea, I think. I'm gonna have to reevaluate that. So, it's now six o'clock. Let's go and get our wheel fixed. We'll um, restock our parts as well. Because I do bang my trucks up. That's 400. And we can't, can't fit a wheel. And we're going to repair what we can. And again, spend 220 on some more parts. Now I think there's two, two wheels, two tyres. On the back of the uh, Kodiak. Oh man! <laughs> oh my lord! 
It's like I don't want to do it, is it? It's like, uh, right. Repair. There we go. Fixed. Fixed it, and we still got still got one left for next time. Now I'm trying to think. The future jobs. Where do I want this? I want this part here. I do want this here because I'm going to be loading the cement. This is gonna. It's probably gonna seem really silly. Loading the cement onto the vehicles. The other side, because I'm gonna have to come out of the quarry and I'm gonna be driving back and forth. But having them all parked up there is gonna be a pain in the backside. The other side of here is relatively flat and straight, and I want a trailer that's going to go through to Black River, and I want a trailer that's going to be going out over that way somewhere. And then there's going to be a trailer that's going to be going into um, Island Lakes, so yeah, just having the space is flat, I can go and collect fuel, I can get wood, I can get spare parts, I can go and get uh, consumables, all from around here. Just pop it in these trailers. So I'll probably load up the cement. Deliver some cement here first. Load up the cement and then... Um, work on everything else that's needed but I might bring that fuel trailer through from or not through from but the one that's up on the on the hill we might bring that down as well anyway but we need to head to uh, Drummond to go get the fleet star let's do that Our trusty fleet that has saved the day on many of occasions now. Yeah, I wonder what it was we got stuck on. There's nothing there, is there? I think we just possibly just got jammed down the hole from where we've been driving that way too much. But I normally go that way because you can clip onto that rock mound and have a little bit of traction. We hadn't come far enough through that we could winch through to grab hold of that fallen tree or that fallen tree. All sorts of problems. All sorts. Can we, um... I think that's the one you can sneak you up through. Well, we're not quite there, no. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Silly man. Yeah. Well, that's probably... <laughs> that's going to be it for today. So I've got to come back through with the Western Star. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I only want to get through that tree line. Yeah, that is going to be it. Well, it's the time anyway. It's, it's time that we fell over on time. Look at that. I can't come back up there again. Oh my giddy arm. Sometimes. Sometimes I really hate myself. Hopefully you've enjoyed that one. If you have, give it a big fat thumbs up down below. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn the bell notification on, find out when you are going live. As always, comments and feedback down there. You guys have a wonderful day. And hopefully I'll see you again soon for more truck rolling action. <laughs> Bye for now. Oh, dear.